This is my favorite part of the project, is using a mallet. It's so loud. Incredibly effective though. Ugh. Follow me. Behold, guys, this is the base of my table. It's coming along. This is gonna be my workbench. I've got wheels that are huge. They're four inches. I'm gonna put these on my computer chair. All right, where's the unhappy bird? Quiet. So this is the tabletop. There's actually two of them because it's gonna be super thick. I just cut them down to size. Now the next step is to actually attach them on there. That was the most heaviest thing. I've ever picked up in my life. So there should be a three inch overhang. Oh my goodness. So up until this point, it's just been cutting four by fours, cutting two by fours, cutting planks for the first time ever. This is like the first time where it's felt like a table. I need to sand it. I'm gonna poly just the top. So originally this calls for a table saw to go right here. But guys, I kind of love a circular saw with a guide. I really don't like table saws, they're too loud. They're too loud for the show, for this neighborhood. So I'm going to forego and I'm just gonna leave it plain. I am, however, going to put in a router. All right, I've marked middle and I'm just gonna screw all the way down. Are you really about to make that jump? Like, I think you can make it. I just really don't want you to. Can you please get down, please? Now the fun stuff. We get to add this. This right here is a router mount. It's super light. It only weighs around 6,000 pounds. And funny enough, this is actually more expensive than the router itself, which is just silly. So this is gonna get mounted. So what I've done is just a little preliminary run with the router. I've added this. I got it measured to the right depth. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm having so much fun messing up everything. So what I've done is I need some sort of barrier to push the router against. So I'm gonna make one barrier right here. I'm gonna make one just all the way around so I can just be like bing, 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 bing. Now we measure for the guides. Line it up, line it up. These balls, I can't get close. Unless I do that. Well, let's just see what happens, okay? You ready? Babes, come here. You see the line? Yeah. It totally worked, look at yeah. that. The problem is these balls are causing me major grief, bro. Mm -hmm. They won't fit over the thing. I need to get like, look at the business. But I'm not about to clamp that again, dude. That was way too much work. All right, sir, first try. Didn't measure, just eyeballed it. Cause that's just what I do. Good, yep, it's not tight enough. That's why you definitely always measure. I am like hair off. That's an easy fix. Looking pretty good. What's the snap lock? Res Ugh, weird. So that goes in there. Pop. That's gonna get mounted underneath. That was very troublesome. That was the hardest thing that we've done at this table so far. We need to clean it. This is why I need dust collection management. Look at this, this is a disaster, an absolute disaster, but it's gonna be a fixed problem. I'm gonna do air filters, I'm gonna do hoses. It's gonna be cool. Guys, it is 9.45 in the morning on a Sunday. I have one more trek to route, and it is so searingly, blindingly loud that I've been hesitating since seven o'clock this morning. You know what my favorite part about this router is, is that it has this comical port right here. This blocks the dust. Good job, blocker. Good job. It doesn't matter which way I aim you, I'm gonna be absolutely covered. Route, 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 routey it. Now it's time to sign. All right, now we're going to polyurethane to get it nice and shiny. Wow, that is totally milky. That's crazy. This brush is huge. All right, guys, I've added three layers of polyurethane. It's now drying. In the meantime, I have like 4,000 of these little boxes. Let's crack them open and see what's in them. T-Track, blue. So guys, off camera, uh, Strider's over here painting. I'm gonna show you what she's doing in just a second. It's amazing, but she just reminded me that we uh, asked you guys to guess her name. No one got it. Not a single one, babe. Hilarious. If someone had guessed your name, would you have come out with it? <laughs> Man, I am opening this box like a ferret. It won't open. Ferrets don't open boxes. Let me show you what these are. Do you remember those grooves that I ratted out? So these are the things that are gonna actually fit inside of them. And this is an intersection. So I have six of them. I think there's six intersections. There's one, two, three. Oh, I just caught it in the sun. Ooh, look at that. Super cool scene, babe. It looks so good. I know, it really is. It's doing a great job. What's you working on? I am revamping what? my Santa Claus because they've been through the weather and okay. I got them from Hobby Lobby. So it wasn't like holding up with the stuff. I was reusing rebar. What is it called? Rebar. I know, I always get rebar. rebar. <laughs> and rebar. And it made them shift. But look, this one's almost ready to go. So I got inspired by you and I put a little stick. Ah! I made a steak! It's so three. these are gonna go in the ground. Okay, I was gonna make a vampire joke, but you killed it. Okay, Aww. that's fair. Do I have? No, -uh. no oh, okay. <laughs> this one's not quite done. I gotta do a couple more, but now I can just 
stink Man, the Connor, mint. This has nothing to do with anything, but can we talk about your color organization? Thank you. The thing of beauty. Well, forget that. Let's talk about it. Babe, I just reorganized this entire place in half an afternoon yesterday so that you could have a workspace. As I was working on it, my baby was like, but mom, where did my space go? And I'm like, oh, I'll make you a space. So his little space is in here. Go on, daddy, open it up. <laughs> Just open it up. Bro, I don't know how it works in here yet. Where's the light? <laughs> there is a light. Oh, you see that? It turns on the heater. So he has his own power supply, which is connected <laughs> to a heater because it's so cold outside oh, right now. Oh, it's like... also dropped. Oh, no. Yeah, put it back up for him. Oh, it turns off and it drops. It. I got a little mat coming so that he can be comfy. And then Miss Kiki has a little hiding hole back here, and it's heated. And she just sleeps in there. Hi, Miss Kiki. She's our shop cat because it's 20 degrees outside. Shop cat, and she's amazing. So now you have decided that you're gonna be making some storage up there, which is gonna be awesome. And then we need to find a place to put all of the scraps because now I wanna use the scrap. But anyway, I'm gonna go back to this because, man, it's so fun. One down, two down, third one up. Oh, yep, gotta hammer it in. Oh. Hey, all done. Check this out. They look so cool. However, so these are Rockler brand. It's like really fancy. These are Schmockler brand. They're not exactly <laughs> rock. They got really good reviews. They're identical. And Fluff Fluff is drinking from my skimmer. Hey, Gross. Fluff Fluff. What's this? Inspiration for a future of what no. we're gonna be doing. Hey, that's my end game. Way to spoiler it. Look, I really want to make. We're obsessed with toys and wood trains. Oh, cool. I, Is that yeah. what you were talking about getting? A uh, scroll saw? Yeah. Absolutely. I've never done this before. I, I just didn't dip my finger in a lot of stuff. Dude, that's amazing. Anyway, what I was saying was this is a completely different shade of blue than the Rockler. It doesn't match and I don't care. <laughs> the final track just came in and I just sawed it down and <clears throat> we're now ready to complete this. We've actually been using the table very actively and it's just as amazing as I thought it would be. It's a massive work table. We can use every square inch of it and we have been. So this is for a chandelier because right now we are severely lacking in lighting, especially at night, especially with the camera. So this is gonna be the base. I'm gonna make a show on it, probably my next project. I've learned, instead of measuring once, cut once, you measure 450 times, cut once. Ask me how I know. I've done so many mistakes. This is my favorite part of the project, is using a mallet. It's so loud. Incredibly effective though. <laughs> Now the fun part, we finally get to finish this table out. It looks like it could be smushed in a little bit more. I'm wondering if the screws will do that. So I have used around 200 screws. And we are done, we have finished. The mega table is finished. Now the only thing, well, it's finished. The only thing I have left to do is to actually route in the, uh, the router so it can go up and down, but I'm missing an adapter that's coming in the mail. Now, some of you guys might be wondering why exactly I'm doing this. Why am I so into woodworking and uh, let me show you why. Most of you longtime viewers know that we're a little obsessed with trains, toy trains, wood trains, wood toys. We have quite the collection upstairs. I would love to make, why can't I? Someone made those, why can't I? So that's my thought process going in. Oh my goodness. Basically, I've never done anything with wood before. And without some sort of local teacher, this is the next best thing. So what I do in life with hobbies is copy, 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 and emulate and emulate. And you can get so much better very quickly by doing that. I feel like the tools that I've accumulated so far are more so like large scale tools. Look how small these pieces are. I see that. I need one of these for sure. It's a little bandsaw thing. Pretty neat. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed it. That's it for me. I'm out.